Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming and welcome back to Fallout Friday and Fallout 4 Rebuild the Colonies. Last time on the show we, as you can see, we started on our little, uh, our little colonization project. We got started on Sanctuary. I explained uh, some of the rules of this run to you, how I'm going to approach it, uh, some of the thresholds that settlements need to hit and things like that. And uh, yeah, just basically got our feet on the ground and started to make our moves. This week we need to continue on a little bit. I think we're going to go to Ten Pines Bluff and get that sorted out. I need to uh, strip mine a couple more places. Um, someone asked me why uh, strip mining? So, obviously, some point in this run, we're going to have to start buying a shed load of, of materials from traders and things like that. Um, so we're going to need a form of income to come in and make our money that way, which eventually will snowball and we'll be okay. We're going to be going around all the vendors, basically taking up all of their supplies as much as possible once we have the ball rolling with the money kind of side of things. But to begin with... I need to rely on what I can scavenge and what I can find out in the world. Plus, it's easier to save money if I pick up all the bits and pieces first and foremost that I can for free and scrap them that way. So that's why I'm going to be strip mining most sites. Most sites that we've cleared that are safe, that are not going to respawn and things like that. So that's going to be what I'm... That's going to be what I'm going to do until we get to the point where I can start absolutely rinsing merchants and stuff like that for all of their supplies. Uh, first thing we need to do today, though, is we have some level ups to do. Now, uh, last time, I think I was complaining that uh, I was hoping the Idio Savant would trigger. Uh, yeah, that's because I didn't take it yet. I haven't taken any um perks yet so that'll be why that didn't trigger so that's the first thing that we're going to be taking in that instance uh and then when we get to level 11 that's probably we're going to move up to the next level of that as well so that's the first thing we've got there uh other things that we need to think about uh we obviously need to look into hacker at some point we need to look into uh, locksmith at some point because we need to do a lot of lock picking. Uh, obviously, we have blacksmith and armor. Those are the two things that we need in that instance. And some other little nice to haves that are going to be good for this run will be things like fortune finder and scrounger. Those will be very good for this kind of run because I want to try and maximize as much stuff that I'm getting in that instance. Uh, damage increasing things are probably going to be kind of low on my priorities. I don't necessarily... I want to be able to kill things quickly, obviously, without taking a lot of damage. But it's not a, a survival run. It's not a... Um, yolo kind of run or anything like that so you know dying and taking damage isn't really going to be the end of the world we're not playing on survivor difficulty so i can reload from a quick save so we haven't got to worry about that so yeah these are going to be fairly low on my priorities but we will look to get some eventually um it's also going to be quite difficult because we're not going to be specifically specking into any type of weaponry um I think that we're probably going to steer fairly clear of melee eventually once we've got good gun set up and ammo isn't a problem. But until then, we'll keep a melee weapon with us just in case, just in case we run out of ammo. But I think what I might do is take Lone Wanderer for the time being because that will give me more carry weight which is obviously a necessity. We're going to need that. Uh, obviously, there's obvious, obvious local leader. We're going to have to take that as well because we want to be able to set up supply lines and things like that. So that's going to be something that we want to do. But I think the next one I'm going to take is Lone Wanderer 
because that's going to give me more carry weight while I don't have a companion. Now, there will be times that we have a companion, but we're not really going to be doing the companion's quests. Um, there's not really any need. I mean, we might just to get like some XP, but we're not going to go specifically chasing them down because there's not really going to be any necessity to do that. I can, As long as I can recruit them, get them back to my settlements, put them in a settlement and move on from there. We don't really need to be worrying about anything else on that front for the time being. So I think that that one's going to be okay. Um, Black Widow might be an option, but again... Not so worried about damage output to begin with. Could go for local leader now and set up the supply lines. But I don't really need that at the moment because I only have one settlement right now. I'm obviously going to have another settlement in a minute. But we don't need to worry about that too much because... The supply lines that I want to set up, it, I want to set them up with regards to hubs. So little areas are going to be moving into a hub. That hub's going to move to another hub, and then that hub's going to spread out to the little areas around there, if that makes sense. So we're going to be basing this on a hub network, pretty much. So until I have hubs, there isn't any need for that just yet. I think... While I'm still strip mining, I might go for Scrounger. But that's just going to give me... Bottle caps or ammo? Which is going to be better? I think ammo for the time being. I mean, I can take both. But I also probably want to get lockpick. Because there's some locks that I'm not able to do at the moment. I'm going to go for lockpick. Because I did come across one lock in Concord that I couldn't undo anyway. So I want to get that done. And I think I'm going to go for scrounger. Because if I'm not spending money on ammo... And I don't need more money for the time being. Yeah. Yeah, I need I want to get all of the things that I need to get set up. So I need to get local leader, blacksmith, armorer. I need to get all of that up. I need to move my way down to gunner as well. But I want to keep my intelligence fairly low for the time being. So that I can get m the most amount of experience out of Idio Savant. Because I want to try and maximize my gains out of that before I start moving intelligence up. Because intelligence isn't a major problem at the moment. Hacking is not a huge issue if I've got Locksmith. And Gunner will eventually come into play. I will eventually need that, but not at the moment. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that selection. Okay, so that's how we've leveled up to begin with. So what I'm going to do now is I think I am going to move on to the mission. I think. Yeah, I think I... I think I want to move on to the mission first. Get another settlement set up. Get some more XP. Then I'm going to start strip mining. Now, the thing is, is I don't need to worry about um, settlement sizes growing just yet. Um, eventually, that's something that I'm going to want to do. I'm going to want to do recruitment beacons. I'm going to want to increase settlement sizes and things like that. Right now... That's a fairly low priority until I have some more settlements under my belt. Once I have more settlements set up and under my belt, then I think we'll look to start increasing the capacity of them. That's 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 a fairly low priority for me at the moment. I want to keep it kind of under control a little bit for now. 
so that I know I don't have to go splurging yet. But then once we do hit certain levels and certain criteria, then I'm going to start to up the up the amount and we can move on from there. One other thing I wanted to do, we were talking about the your special book not last week. I do probably want to get that done, but I know I don't do I have I'm going to quickly see if I have what I need and then I will see if I can get that done. No, I don't have the ability to do it yet, so that will still have to wait. Uh it's still there. I haven't touched it, so it's fine. We're not uh going to worry about that too much at the moment. So, yes, what we're going to do is we are going to head off towards uh Ten Pines Bluff and Hopefully, we're going to pass some stuff along the way that we should be able to pick up some good stuff from. Um, so, if anything interesting happens along the way, I will let you know. But if not, I will meet you when I'm there. Now, we are going to be going via, is it the robotics disposal ground? Because there is something in there that I wish to pick up that we're going to need a lot later on in this run. Not just at the moment. Yeah, robotics disposal around, yeah. There's there's something in here that we're going to need uh, later on. We're not going to need it just yet. But we will need it eventually. So... What we're going to do is we're going to head in here. And it should be in here. There it is. Hot Rodder. That's what we need. Now, we are going to need that for a little bit later on. Uh, not just at the moment. But it will all become clear once we actually get to that point. Now, I could activate the robot. Because at the very least, that's going to give me some mole rat stuff. At the best, it could give me some robotic stuff. So I am going to do that for the moment. I am going to activate the robot. I don't know if I want to send into Olivia yet or not. What does he do automatically? I mean, we can eject the tape and take that with us. Now, I'm just going to let him be out there and do his thing. Now, I'm pretty sure just activating him wakes up all the mole rats and everything, right? I'm pretty sure I don't have to do anything. Just his movement should wake them up. Right? Yeah, there we go. Right. So, I'll let him deal with the mole rats. Because that way I'm going to save my ammo. And like I said, very least we get some mole rat bits and pieces out of this. We get some leather, we get some teeth and stuff like that. At the worst, uh, at the best, we get uh, some robotic stuff. Just to just sit here and wait for him to do his thing. Now, yeah, I don't remember. There's one more. I just heard it pop out. I don't remember whether he stays here automatically or if he goes off to... Is it Olivia straight away? I can't remember whether I need to tell him to do that or not. But, I mean, I might as well keep him here for the time being. Is that it? Are we clear? I think we're clear. Yep, I think he's taking care of everything. So, what are you going to do now? Do you just stay here? Or do you head off? Because if you just stay here, that's fine. I'm happy with that. 
But if he does head off automatically, I don't think I want to... No, I think he just stays here. That's good. That's all I need him to do. So he can stay here for the time being. When I'm ready to head over to Olivia... Or do I... I need to go to Olivia now, actually, don't I? For the quest for Ten Pines Bluff anyway, isn't it? So I might as well get him to come with me. Hopefully he'll be able to clear some stuff out there. Uh, I'm just going to loot around here quickly, and then I think that's what we're going to do, actually. Right, so I've got him to head over to Olivia. Now, I'm pretty sure that's where I need to go for 10 points. Well, I cannot remember now for some reason. My mind is not working very well today. But he's going to head over there. We're just going to follow him. Now, he's going to take his sweet-ass time, unfortunately, because of the venting and everything like that. But maybe he'll be able to do some damage for me to the raiders while I'm there. Now, sometimes he's a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes he is very useful and he does a very good job. Other times, he's uh, a little bit hit and miss. He's not... a uh, He's not always the best. Now, what I can do is try and get you down because that is leather and meat. There's actually quite a few over there. Let's see if I can uh, drop a grenade on them and take them all out. Well, I've got one for sure. Didn't get you. No, this gun, I'm not. I'm just not powerful enough for this gun yet. I don't have a powerful enough gun. Right, well, I've got one down. Uh, also, we have a set of power armor, almost. Well, it's not complete. But we do, we will need to remember to come back for that. Because we will need that at some point as well. Um, again, I'll explain more once we get to it. Right now... It's not massively important, but eventually we will need to um, start collecting as much power armor as we can as well. So I think Sentry Bot has got there, and hopefully he should be able to do some damage. Now he is currently venting, I think, so he's not really doing anything at the moment. There he goes. He's heading in now. So hopefully... No, threat analysis is not green. What are you doing, my man? Right, there you go. There's the mole rats. Right, you took out a mole rat. There are still plenty of people in there, my man. So... Those rad stags didn't come back. Damn. Right. No. I, uh, yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. Sometimes he's useful. Sometimes he's not. And on this occasion, I don't think he's been very useful, unfortunately. So we're going to have to do this ourselves, unfortunately. So, never mind. Now, where was that mole rat you took out? Now, I'm not going to get everything, obviously. There's going to be stuff that I miss. But I wanted to try and pick up as much stuff as I can out in the world. Ooh, okay. So, you took out one raider. So, we'll take you. Now, I am, I am literally going to be trying to strip everything. Because I am... Um, I want to try and not only sell what I can to get as much money as I can, but some of the armor and stuff like that, I want to try and eventually break it down for constituent components and things like that. So leather and things like that that I'm going to need. I've also, with the scrap everything perk, I should be able to literally scrap everything. So I should make a lot from all the bits and pieces. Oh. 
again, we're not playing this super sneaky, but I don't want to take unnecessary damage for no reason, so we are going to try and be a little bit cautious as we go around. We're not, we're not like silent assassin in this, but yeah, like I said, I don't want to take unnecessary damage. Oh, he did take you out. Okay. Okay, so he actually proved to be a lot more useful than I was expecting. Okay, I didn't think he was that useful. I thought he didn't really do much, but apparently he did a lot more than I gave him credit for. So, he did a good job. Good job, robot friend. Well done. That was uh, very good of you. So, yeah, just going to be, like I said, looting everything that I can get my grubby little mitts on. And then we'll head inside. I think he, yeah, I think he cleared everything. He did a, he did a really good job here. Okay, well, uh, let's head down and let's head inside then. Hopefully, we should be able to do this without too much damage. I'm just gonna drop a quick save here because, yeah, you know, like I said, we're not playing on survival difficulty, so. Haven't got to worry about the saves and things like that because don't want to um, deal with all the extra hassle, really. Like I said, just trying to take as much as we can. Now, break the code. Ah, damn! I thought I did that. No, obviously not. Okay, well, we'll just have to deal with that. Screwdriver. Where are you? Come on. There you are. No. Damn it. Come on. Oh, there's two. Damn, the dog as well, yeah. Ah, damn it. Come on. It's the only problem with shotguns is there are uh, the reloading. Coming round? No? Gonna fade away? Was it just the wind? Come on, come on. Only a fucking coward hides. Not hiding, I'm waiting, come on. Almost. Open right. Told you, not uh, we're not trying to play this super sneaky, so I don't really care about going in guns blazing, making noise. That doesn't really bother me. Uh, it would have been nice if I did that a little bit cleaner without taking as much damage, but it's not really the end of the world if I do. I'm not too bothered about that. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to make our way through here. Going to loot what I can as we're going. And uh, go and get the locket back. It's locket, right? Yeah, going to go and get the locket that we need. Okay. Akax down. Nice and easy. That was pretty simple, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I just dropped 
one Molotov in here, and boom. Down, down there, down she went, and down she went. And this guy was just a good shot to the head. So, yeah. Shot this guy nice and stealthy. Shot this guy when they came into the room. That woke up these two. Dropped one Molotov. Boom. Done. Easy. Right. Uh, strip you for all that you are worth. Now, I am carrying too much. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a locker to store some stuff. Uh, and then I know that when I come back here later to collect some other stuff, I know that there will be a locker full of stuff that I've left here. Okay. Got the locket. Uh, should be able to unlock this door. There we go. Nice and easy. And then there are some, uh, rad roaches in here that I should be able to take care of. Nice and easily. And then this whole area should be clear. Right, you're coming. Ah, jumped at the wrong time, you bastard. Come on, hit it. Thank you. Took way more damage from a rad roach there than I should have. I don't really like shotguns in this game. I don't know why. I've just never really got on with them. I like the fast firing weapons, you know. But uh, yeah, we should be pretty clear here. Now, does one jump out? I can't remember. Do you come? Yeah, I figured you came out of the skeleton, didn't you? There we go. Now I think that means we are entirely clear. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done here. So, yep. This was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Nice and simple. All done. Uh, I'm, again, I'm just going to mine the place. Uh, and then we will head over to Ten Pines Bluff. Okay, yeah. So this playthrough is a lot of this, by the way. Yeah, it's not great. Um, so what we're doing here is I have pretty much collected everything in this place. In its entirety. There is a no piece of scrap left here to pick up. Now, there are some things that respawn. Um, I, I think the the mini nuke that's here respawns. I'm not sure, but uh, either way, what we are going to do is we are going to leave this in... That's the closest one, I think, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So we're going to leave the remnants uh, of what I'm overcarried by in this lot filing cabinet here so it's right near the entrance so i can come in grab stuff as i go past and hopefully take that back to base as we're going along the route back to sanctuary should be fairly easy uh i'm pretty sure it's cleared out so it wouldn't really matter if i'm over encumbered walking back that way but yeah we're just going to try and keep things close to entrances so i can nip in as i'm passing grab some stuff and move on you know Okay, all done. Uh, and now we are off to Olivia. I mean, I could have left it in this locker here, but... Eh, whatever. Uh, no, we're not off to Olivia, sorry. We're off to Ten Pines Bluff, aren't we? So, uh, let's head off in that direction. I'm pretty sure they sent me here to get the locket, right? And uh, I have it already. So we should have completed uh, this mission entirely. And here we are. Coming up on... Ten Pines Bluff. So everything should be safe now. Guns away. And we should be able... Oh, we got another level up. That's good. Uh, we don't want to talk to you. We want to talk to you. You're going to pull a gun on me, right? What do you want? Yep. We don't need any more trouble around here. No, no trouble. That's fine. I'm here with the Minutemen. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Well, that's fine. We're not, uh... We're not back. The Minutemen aren't back. That's that's not, uh... 
That's that's not what we're here for. Um, I'm just going to ask if you want my help or not. Do you want my help, or should I be on my way? Don't get the wrong idea. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Oh no, you're not. It's uh, it's Finch Farm, isn't it? That's Olivia. Yeah, Finch Farm is Olivia, isn't it? Yeah, you're Corvega. Um, crap. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take, I'll care, take of care of them. Um, completely forgot about that. It'll be a welcome change for the better. We will take care of that, but uh, I think that maybe. <laughs> We're going to go to Finch Farm first and complete that mission because uh, I already have. Um, yep, got got them the wrong way around there. That was a, that was a, a bit of a boner on my behalf. Uh, so yeah, we're going to head back towards Finch Farm and uh, get that settlement on our side. And then maybe we'll tackle this next time. Abernathy Farm. God, I'm really bad with the names. Uh, I'm I'm not here for trouble. Okay. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm really bad with the names in this place. So, my my um, yeah, my my memory is awful with regards to names and everything like that. Abernathy Farm. Now I'm pretty sure you're the one that's going to ask me to go to there and pick up the locket, right? I'm pretty sure that you're the ones that are going to ask me to ask the locket. Or I might be completely wrong, and it might be Finch Farm that asks me to do the locket. But I'm pretty sure, is it the Finch Farm? Are they um, the... Um, oh, what are they? The, 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 the... Well, good luck to you then. Maybe I'll see you at the Diamond City Market someday. I cannot remember now. The uh, the people with the fire and everything like that. I told you names I'm awful with. I'm terrible with names. This is something that I'm not great with. So, uh, but yeah, um, we're not, uh, I'm not great with names. And I'm, I don't remember whether it's here or the other one, but I'm pretty sure Finch Farm is the guy that tells me, is it? No, um... And they shot her down without a thought. I That's can't why remember. we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Yeah, now I'm pretty sure um, that you are to going to ask me to do this, mm -hmm. right? And Sorry, I'm pretty he, sure I already have, I the, have offer, the locket. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did get it the right way around, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just bad with the names. The names are not great. Um, my memory is appalling. I, I have, uh, I have issues. But yes, I have the locket for you, and this should get my, this settlement under my protection now. I took care of some raiders earlier. I think I found the locket you're talking about. You serious? Not that I would know the specific locket that he's looking for. I mean, it's just a locket. But, yep. Anyway, there you go. least we can do. And there you go. So, right. I knew that I'd get it one way or the other, but there you go. We uh, we have another settlement under our control, uh, just not the one that I was expecting to. Um, but yeah, there you go. So we've done that, and this settlement will be under our control now. And uh, yep, we are going to set it up with regards to the rules that we set out in the last part. But I think I'm going to do that next time. So I want to thank you for joining me today and the terrible, terrible walkthrough that I'm giving you. Don't pay any attention to what I do. L you know, listen to what I say, not as I do. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not great on that front. But uh, hopefully you found it entertaining at least, and uh, hopefully that you'll want to join me again next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GG to you all. Thank you everybody for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Then check out this video suggested for you or watch this playlist to discover more from the channel. You can also join our Discord or follow us on X, formerly Twitter, to stay up to date with all the happenings with this show and others. 
And why not join our Patreon for early access and lots of other member-only bonuses? All links can be found in the description to this episode, and a big thank you to all of this month's Patreons on screen now. This has been a Rich Tea Entertainment production. <laughs>